bring in, look who's here, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. What did you think of the meeting today? What was your reaction? I think a lot of people forget that uh, this is not just about two individuals, Joe Biden and Vladimir Putin. It's about two countries. The two individuals had a sharp contrast today. Joe Biden shuffled in the room, uh, didn't appear to have a real clear grasp of all that was going on, and I think made a huge mistake by saying, now, you can do certain things in cyber uh, crime, but here's 16 things we don't want you to do. Basically saying, all the other stuff, we're not going to really get on to you about it. I, I was just astonished by that. I couldn't believe that his handlers would allow him to take that uh, juncture. Clearly, yeah. Putin and has also, uh, a strong appearance. He comes across that way. But I say again, Liz, what Joe Biden's got to do, and I don't think he did it, was to remind people that it's not about him. It's about the power of the United States. And we did not really exhibit that today through the words of the president. And I think uh, Vladimir Putin goes home uh, really looking better, not only individually, but his country look stronger just because of the way that he carried himself through the meeting. And Senator Tom Cotton is saying China is the one to watch, right? I mean, he's saying that basically the NATO yeah. communique mentioned Russia more than five dozen times and China less than a dozen times. China's embassy in London is saying it's long past. The time is over for a small group of nations in the G7 to dictate how the world is going to conduct itself. The thing is that, you know, Governor, what's happening, too, is President Biden and the G7 said we're going to mount a $40 trillion infrastructure plan around the world to take on China's Belt and Road. I mean, how are they going to do that, Governor? They can't even agree. The G7 couldn't even agree on vaccine sharing. You know what I mean? They can't even get the vaccine deal going between them. How are they going to do, take on China in this way? I think you're exactly right. It is about China. Russia is a threat. There's no doubt about that. But they don't present to us an immediate threat. They just don't have the power and the strength. They had a lot less until Joe Biden gave them the pipeline, which gives them an economic boost like nothing else has over the past eight years. But let's just ask ourselves this. Who is it that's stealing our basic day-to-day -day information? China. Who is it that's dumping products into the United States and really having an impact on American jobs? China. Who has been uh, not only cheating at trade, but who's been manufacturing things that has taken manufacturing out of the United States? China has. And who has been very, very clear in doubling up a fist, shaking it at the U.S. and saying, we're coming after you? It's China. So there's no doubt but that the greatest threat we face, both economically and militarily, unquestionably, it's China. All right. Governor Mike Huckabee, thanks for joining us. Come back soon. It's great to have you on.